Hey everyone, my name is Antonia Obera as usual from the Tech Farmers Hub. Okay, so today we're going to be showing you how to produce fodder, fodder for livestock. Um, the cattle breeders are always facing the challenge of producing their fodder, so that's why they always go into the open grazing. So this video is going to show you how to produce fodder using grains. So for the purpose of this video, we're going to be using guinea corn. Um, in the north, they call it dawa. So first thing first is to rinse it from the dusty particles that it comes with and some death. Okay, so after we have removed the dirt, we're just going to put it back into this container and then soak it for 24, 15 to 24 hours. After 24 hours, you're just going to sieve it, put it into a fabric like this that they use in making or whatever sieve you have So after you save it and put it in a container like this, you tie this to make it really tight. You put it in this container or in an enclosed, if you don't have this sieve, if you don't have this sieve, you can just put it in, a, in an airtight container like this. Any container you have that has a cover, you just put it in it and then cover it tightly. Make sure that it's tightly covered. For If you're doing guinea corn, it's for 24 hours. And if you're doing mace, sogum, it's 48 hours. You cover it. So I just opened our grains this morning. It's actually very dried. I'm sure the under will be moist. Look at how it has sprouted. Can you see? It's already shooting out. This is for this. And then the this one has to stay a longer time. It's also sprouted but then most of them haven't come out just a few of them have sprouted if you can see it's all shooting out here so we're still going to wet this one and give it some more time okay so good day everyone so we are going to be transferring our grains into our trays. You can actually use plastic trays, bowls, whatever you have at your disposal. Look at what I'm getting from it now. And then I'm going to be putting it in two of these trays. So you don't make it so thick that the grains don't have space. 
to come out you cover it up in a way that it's not so loosened up that it will start breaking i want it to come like all formed like bread yeah that's why i'm spacing it this way and then our trays the way we do it it has holes at um the beginning and the end so that we can drain when you water it the excess water can come out of of the drain so as you can see this is this is that okay so um one model is giving us these two trays we are now going to um we are finished laying the grains on the tray so what i will just do so remember that um today is day one so i'm just going to take my spray can this is just water in here i've not yet put the nutrients so i'm just going to water it see the water very little water just to make it moist not soaked so i'm taking it now to the stand okay so as you can see this stand is slanting so that the excess water will drain out Okay, so as you can see this is already day six so fresh by day seven it will be higher than this and then we feed the animals by day eight look at this this is day six you see you see this one this is day three no, sorry, day four. This is day three. Wow, this one is looking awesome. Like really fresh. And they eat everything. 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 This is day two. And then this is day one. 